hello viewers i welcome you to omades it's been a long time i upload some videos i had a little challenge and right now it has been resolved so uh, i'll start posting some videos frequently and um someone asks me about how to customize a page size in corel draw yeah so i decided to make a video especially for the person i think this is where he asked the question when you come here um let me see yeah if we type on my desk that's my page the person asked a question here commented somewhere here um videos yeah, let me glance through i think here no commented on how to arrange a book in uh, Corel draw how to arrange a book in Corel draw yeah the person commented here so let me see the comment let me see the comment let me see the comment please if today be the first time you are visiting the channel then you subscribe for me and i thank you always for watching my videos for the growth of the channel thank you yeah he said good job master but what if i'm to use a custom paper size i mean if that paper i want to use is not up to a4 size so uh this tutorial that i'm making especially goes to you uh your name i can't mention but if you are watching the video i'm making is especially to answer your question so first of all let me open my corel draw i'm using corel draw 2020 so how can you customize page size in corel draw if it's not up to a4 size so first of all I've opened then you come to new document, new document, new document. We have two ways that you can customize it. Okay, from the start, if you open, you come to new document. Okay, good. Now, when you open, uh, this light dialog box will appear and it will ask you the name of the uh, document that you are creating. You see, create new document here. So you have to give it a name, okay let's say um book okay that's the name i want to use when you come to presets okay when you come to preset you can choose to leave it or let me choose a uh, corel draw default okay corel draw default then it's asking you the number of pages okay the number of pages that you want to add okay by add i want i you to just first of all take one page or if you know the number of pages that you want to i mean create you can just increase it from here or reduce it or you can just clear this one and type any number that you want okay uh, for me i just want only one then primary color mode the work that we are doing do you want to use the cmyk colors or you want to use the rgb colors that one you can make it simple yeah so here start your the solution for your uh what do you call it your uh comment or your question okay you say paper size okay this one is a4 and when you come to paper size we have a lot of paper sizes here okay this ones are the default paper sizes okay these sizes were built together with the software that this software that is Corel Draw. So all these sizes here are default page sizes that was built inside the Corel Draw. So if the size that you are looking for is not here, okay, like the comment was asking how to customize it, you have to come here first of all. Look at the width then you look at the height look at the orientation then for resolution if you like you can change it 
so we are ignoring these sizes here okay all these sizes here we are ignoring it then we create a new one so first of all we have to come to width okay by make sure to change the unit to the one you know best okay the units i normally use inches okay someone will prefer to use millimeters feet years um, centimeters but the one i normally use is inches that one is easy for me okay so first of all i'll choose inches like the comment was asking you have to measure the size that you want with a ruler or if you have that one in your mind then you come to the width okay then you type it here okay example the size of the a4 is um, 8.268 inches that is the width and the height is 11.693 that is the size for a4 but we don't want that one so you have to create our own size that is the customized page size so i will choose here to be let's say um five then i can choose here to be let's say eight okay now it's asking you the page orientation okay that is we have a portrait okay do you want your page to be portrait like this one okay and we have landscape which one you prefer so you can choose to select this one or select the portrait so i'll select the portrait and when you finish this one i think one thing you have to check from here is as soon as you change the paper size okay this is a4 okay but as soon as you touches the paper size look at here look at where they have written the paper size as soon as you touches the number okay look at what will come here five okay then eight have you seen that it has turned to custom meaning we have customized it okay good so after you check all these things and uh you press okay then here you are when you come you see the sizes that we choose there okay that is five by eight okay five by eight so the five is for uh, the horizontal section or the horizontal area that is here if you you can see from this place okay as here is five inches and then the vertical uh, side okay the vertical side of the page is eight that is from top to down is the vertical side okay so that is how to customize a page in Corel draw for the first step okay good so let me close it let me close this page and go back again let's say when you open the Corel draw for the first time you just entered the street okay you enter the here straight this is a let's choose the default sizes there that is a4 then you enter straight and you remember no you need to i mean customize your page you need to customize your page so this one too is very simple it's either you first customize it from the first step i have show you or let's say you have entered here and you 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 want to change the page size it's very simple so like i told you i have to first change the unit when you come here you see units okay then you change it inches then you come here okay you see this one is already in a4 and those default sizes that was selecting it, when you come here to appear here okay yeah but we don't want this one we want to customize our own page size so First of all, I'll change the in, uh, unit to inches. Okay. Then I'll type any number that I want. Okay. That is, let's say, four. And I want here to be, let's say, seven. Okay. And when you come here, you have the orientation. Okay. This is portrait. And this is landscape. 
So first of all, this one is already in portrait. Okay, good. But we can change it to landscape. Okay, if you change it to landscape, meaning the uh, horizontal section or the horizontal part will be seven. Okay, and the vertical part will be four. But if you change it to portrait two, then the horizontal part will now be four and the vertical side will be seven. You can choose any number that you like depending on the work that you are doing. If you have the size in mind, you can just type it here. And one thing that you need to know is, um, let's say you have customized this page, okay, this page size, and you want to add more pages, okay? You want to add more pages and you want this customized size to affect all the pages that you are coming to open okay so assuming when it, you then you have to come down here okay come down here you add but if you add a new page the settings that i made in the first page that the customized page will not affect the page that i'm that i added why you see the second page has turned to page four why there's a settings here that you need to make before the customized page or the size will, will affect all the new pages that you open so it's simple this one the reason why it was not the customized page or the customer size did not affect the second page is that the page is set to current page that is apply the page size to the current page only apply the page size to the current page only meaning this this side that i choose okay it will apply to this current page that is only page two only page two okay good apply the page size to the current page only and this is the current page that is which is active or that is active okay good and when you come here to the customization that i made the same thing applies to this customized page okay apply the page size to the current page only good but here comes a case i want the uh, this page size to affect all so this time around i will change from this place to this place okay he said all pages look at the difference this one is all pages this one is current page all pages current page so you have to click on this one okay have to click on this one let's read that one to apply the page size to all pages in the document meaning any page that i will add my settings will affect all the pages that i will add okay so let's see this one it was already added so i have to delete it and this one i've set to all pages so let me add some pages and see if this size will affect all the Pages. Okay, so let me start from page four and see if we go to page four. That's taking this page dimensions and it's set to and it's set to a uh, portrait. Okay, let me check the third one too. The same thing. Okay, set to portrait. Second one to the same thing. Set to portrait. And this is the main setting that I made. Okay, so this is how to uh, customize page size in Corel Draw. Okay, so you can add any number of pages that you have. Okay, in Corel Draw, you can add million pages. It's unlimited. It's a matter of clicking this, clicking on this sign here, and it keeps on adding automatically yeah so and if you want to let's say i want to delete uh, some of the pages to you just activate the page okay, okay just put the cursor on it 
to select it then you right click you delete okay you delete let's say i've done some work at page six i want to delete it select then you delete it yeah so viewers i hope this uh, video will be beneficial to to you so i will urge you to sit behind your screen as you watch the whole video to the end and please if you are new to the channel you kindly subscribe for more tutorials and please your comment is highly needed and if you have any question to kindly drop it under the comment section thank you and watch out for my next video bye bye